Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome back. It is our bid to find the best team in Major League Baseball history. We are in Florida, or we're going to find out we're Miami to find out the best team of the Marlins. Uh, turns out they're both uh, Florida teams, Florida Marlins teams as opposed to Miami Marlins teams. Today we will be putting the 97 team against the 2003 team. Two really fun teams, if I remember them correctly. And uh, so the 97 team had a 92 and 70 regular season record. The 2003 team had a 91 71 record. So very, very similar. It's a one off game, modern era, uh, era strategy, and uh, World Series squads, if of all rosters, if available. So let's go and create this game and see who it is moving on to face the rest of baseball. So here are the rosters of the two sides, and uh, for you know, teams that were only, what, six years apart, there is quite a difference between them, it has to be said. So uh, yeah, if you want to have a bit of a longer look at that, make sure that you uh, make sure that you give it a pause and a zoom in and all that kind of stuff. But uh, let's go and check these starting lineups. All right, so here we go. Leading off the 97 Marlins is Edgar Renteria at shortstop. Craig Council at second base is batting second. Moises Alou in left field bats three. Gary Sheffield cleans up in uh, at uh, right field. Then we've got uh, Bobby Benilla, Benilla even at third base batting five. Darren Dalton at first base batting uh, six. Devon White in center field batting seven. Charles Johnson, the catcher at eight. And then Kevin Brown on the mound. And for the 2003 Marlins, it's Juan Pierre leading things off in uh, in center field. Then, <clears throat> excuse me, Luis uh, Castillo at second base, bat second. Derek Lee at uh, third at first base, bat three. Mark Lau at third base is clean up. Then Ivan Rodriguez. I remember him having a very good World Series. I think it was him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, five at catcher. Todd Hollandsworth in left field, bat six. Miguel Cabrera, one for all us Tiger fans. At the age of 20, bat seven. Alex Gonzalez at shortstop, bats eight. And then Josh Beckett, a 23-year-old Josh Beckett, goes on the mound. All right, I am looking forward to this one, I have to say. So Renta Ria will lead us off. If you are new to the series, basically the concept here is that every franchise is going to have their best team. And then we're going to have sort of a bracket knockout down to find the best team in baseball history. As Renteria starts things off with a uh, with a pop out to center field, so one away. Craig Council comes in now. He is managing. Oh, has he hit that out of the park? I think he has. Craig Council gives the 1997 Florida Marlins a first inning lead. So well done to him. He's he's managing uh, like Kansas City or something right now. I think isn't he? I think that's uh, I think it's him that I saw was managing somewhere. Anyway. Uh, Moises Alou. It's a full count on him. And there is a one-out walk. Bringing in Gary Sheffield. Is Sheffield, how old is Sheffield at this point? He is uh, 28. So he's right in his prime, isn't he? A 1-1. One -one. And that is through. So we're going to have uh, runners at first and second with one away. And Bobby Bonilla. Bonilla? Bonilla. Something like that. Anyway, he's hit that into left center field. Is it going to be catch a ball? Oh, it is for Pierre. And that is two out now. Runners at first and second for Darren Dalton. A 1-0. And that is into left field. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's one for the cameras. <laughs> Hollandsworth stands still and then dives head first to make a catch. And that'll do it. One run is the lead. It is one Pierre to lead off for the uh, 2003 side. And it is a full count. And there is a strikeout to get things going. So one away. In comes Luis Castillo now. First pitch. Castillo grounds it to the third baseman for two away. And that'll bring up Derek Lee. Uh, remember, Derek Lee was at the Cubs, I think, wasn't he? It's, uh, uh, or was he at the Whites? He's in Chicago somewhere, I think, when they won a World Series. Uh, anyway, that'll do it for that. We go to the top of the second. It is Devon White leading us off. It's an 0-1 pitch. And it is well hit into the gap of left center field. It should be at least a double. I don't think it'll be any more than that. But uh, yeah, leading off double is uh, always a good thing, isn't it? And it is Charles Johnson coming in now. A 1-2 pitch. Is he balked? He has balked. Well, that's difficult now with the runner at third, isn't it? A 1-2 pitch again. And that is through to make it 2 to nothing. And I do wonder, yeah. I, I, my, my sort of instinct is that the Florida Marlins representative is going to possibly be the weaker. Or one of the weaker ones. Because uh, I, if I 
correct me if I'm wrong, but I think both these teams, particularly 2003, they were kind of fairy tale stories, weren't they, when they won the World Series? Um, they weren't particularly the strong sides or even the best sides at the time. It's my memory of it, and that's obviously years ago now, so it could very much be wrong. As uh, Pierre in centre field there makes the catch, so two down with two on. And Moises Alou will come up. It's an 0-1 pitch. And that is going to be caught again. And that'll end the inning. I say that they were fairy tales. I mean, they both teams won over 90 games in the regular season. So clearly they were good teams. Uh, particularly in this era. You, bad teams didn't really make the playoffs, did they? Because it's, it's so difficult to do. As uh, there we go. One down the third baseline. And Mark, Mike, even Lau. Lowell. However you want to say it. Has himself a leadoff double. So it's the first hit of the game for the 2003 side. Ivan Rodriguez, I think his nickname's Pudge, isn't it? Why does Pudge Rodriguez sound familiar to me? As that is going to be caught in right field. Runner will stay at second. And Todd Hollandsworth will come in. A 1-0. Hollandsworth sends it straight up for a second then. It looked like off the bat it might be going uh, a long, long way. But didn't leave the infield in the end. So two down for Miguel Cabrera. A 3-1. And Miguel hits it well to the third baseman, but it's an error. Is that error going to score a run? It is. So Cabrera goes to second as well. And it is now 2-1 in the second. And it's Alex Gonzalez coming up. First pitch. Gonzalez cannot find a way through the infield. And that will end the inning. So we'll go to the third. It's a one-run game. And Beckett will face Gary Sheffield. Sheffield one for one today. It's an 0-1 pitch. And that is going to be two for two now as that uh, drops in front of the center field up for a leadoff single. In comes Bobby Bonilla. 1-0. Gets away from the catcher. Runner will go to second. Beckett to Bonilla now. A 2-0 pitch. Gets away again. Oh, Beckett is... Uh, well, maybe he uh, needs, to, needs to rest here. A 3-0 pitch, and now a 3-1 pitch. And it is a walk, so none out, runners at the corners. Now, this is a very young Josh Beckett, isn't it? So I do wonder a little bit, control was an issue for him. A 1-2 pitch, and... Oh, did they get him at first? No, oh, Lee dropped it. What a muppet. So, did they, didn't it get the strike out either? Dalton's at the plate. It is going to get through that one, is it? It's not going to get through. It is out. I'll tell you what, it's a nice play to get the out at first. It does drive in a run, though. Bonilla goes to second, so it's 3-1. Runner at second, one away for Devon White. An 0-1 pitch, and that is going to be out at first. Getting the runner over to third, though. And it is Charles Johnson to the plate. He is one for one with an RBI already, and that is... Going to be out at first to end the third. But it is 3-1. And we'll go to the bottom of the inning. And Josh Beckett, we'll see what he can do with the bat now. It's a 1-2 pitch. And he strikes out for one away. In comes Juan Pierre. It is a 2-1 pitch. And Pierre grounds it sharply to the shortstop. But uh, that'll be two away. And it brings in Luis Castillo. With a 3-1. Castillo up the middle. And that'll be a two-out single. Only the second hit of the game for the 2003 side. And Derek Lee comes in now. He's 0-1. An 0-1 pitch. And they've tried to pick him off at first. But he's back in time. So an 0-2 pitch now. And Derek Lee forgets to swing to end that inning. So it is still 3-1 going into the fourth, and it'll be pitcher versus pitcher. Kevin Brown to the plate. Still Beckett on the mound, and that is straight up for one away. Assuming someone can catch, which you assume they can at this level. And there we go. In comes Edgar Renteria. He is 0 for 1. It's an 0-2 pitch, and Renteria strikes out. So that it must have been 0 for 3 now, actually. They were 0 for 2 at the time. Council comes up. Smacked one, didn't he, back in the first. It's a 2-0 pitch. Two out, none on. And Craig Council will be caught in right field to end the top of the four. So for the first time, the 97 Marlins haven't scored. And Mike Lau, who has scored, is one for one and will lead off the inning. It's a 1-0 pitch. And Lau hits it well. Is that going to be caught? It is. And that'll be one away. 
In will come Ivan Rodriguez, who is 0 for 1. First pitch swing. Rodriguez grounds it to the shortstop. That'll be two away. And it'll bring up Todd Hollandsworth, who is 0 for 1. It is a 1-2 pitch. Hollandsworth strikes out. That'll end the fourth. It is still 3-1. And it'll be Moises Alou to lead off the inning. He is 0 for 2. It's a full count. And it is a strikeout for one away. Brings in Gary Sheffield, who is 2 for 2. Is he about to walk? Yes, he is. So a one-out walk. And Bobby Bonilla comes in now. He's 0 for 1. Going to be another walk, is it? So Beckett has walked two batters on eight pitches. Two on, one out for Dalton, who is 0 for 2. It's a 1-2 pitch. And that is into center field. Is it going to drop in? It is, and it might be more runs. As uh, that is a fourth run across the plate on the Dalton RBI single. So the 97 Marlins now lead 4-1, and that'll do it. Braden, Braden Looper comes out to the mound. It's a 1-0 pitch. It is a ground ball. It could be a double play. They get the out at second, but that'll be it. So runners at the corners, two away for Charlie Johnson, who is one for two. 3-1. And that is punched towards second base. Oh, it's a good play. It's a very, very good play. Castillo ends the inning. It is 4-1 going to the bottom of the fifth. And it is Miguel Cabrera to lead off the inning. He is 0 for 1. And it is a 1-2 pitch. Cabrera strikes out for 1 away. In comes Alex Gonzalez, who's 0 for 1. It is another 0-1 pitch. It is a little looper back to the pitcher for 2 away. And it'll bring up Jeff Conan, who is uh, not pinch hitting. They've already pinched hit. Oh, they've, okay, so they've taken someone out there. So it's his first at bat anyway. It's an 0-1 pitch. I think it's Conan. I think he pronounces it. I don't know why I'm thinking Conan. I, I think it, I think he pronounces it Conan, if I remember correctly. Anyway, whatever his name is, he's caught in center field. That ends the fifth. It's 4-1 going into the sixth. And it is Kevin Brown to face Braden Looper. And that's a strikeout for one away. And now will come Edgar Renteria, who's over 2 It's a 2-2 two -two pitch. And Renteria punches it into center field for a one-out single. In comes Craig Council, who's one for three. One on, one out. He strikes out looking. Two down. Braden Looper's looking okay, isn't he? Moises Alou comes in. He's over 2 It's a full count. It is a little grubber back to the pitcher again. It is out at first, and that'll do it for the sixth. The top of the sixth. It is still 4-1 to the 97 Marlins. And it is Juan Pierre to lead things off against Brown. Pierre is 0 for 2. It's a 1-2 pitch. And Pierre was uh, in a different postcode to that one. So that is one away. In comes Luis Castillo. He's 1 for 2. It's a 2-1 pitch. And he grounds it to the shortstop. That should be 2 away. Which will bring us to the next man up. Derek Lee who is 0 for 2. It's a first pitch swing. And Derek Lee, has he got it through? He has. So Derek Lee with a two-out single. In comes Mike Lau. He's one for two. First pitch. Lau grounds it to the third baseman. And that'll do it for that. We'll go to the seventh. Still, it is 4-1 to the 97 Marlins. And it'll be Carl Pavano coming onto the mound to face Gary Sheffield, who is two for two. It's a 1-1 pitch. And Sheffield has popped it up. And that'll be one away. It brings in Bobby Bonilla now, who is 0 for 1. It's a 1 1. And it is down towards third base. It's a good stop, but it's nothing more than that. So it'll be an infield hit with uh, one out. And Darren Dalton to the plate, who is 1 for 3. It's a full count. Dalton pops one up into foul territory. It'll be caught, and it'll be two away. And it'll bring up Devon White. A 1-0 pitch. And that, with two out, is going to drop in. And is it going to be runners at the corners? They're going for third, and get there. 
So it's not even runners at the corners. He got himself over to second. So runners at first and uh, second and third. Sorry, with two out. It's Johnson at the plate. He's one for three. And that is well blocked behind the plate to keep the runners where they are. It is a full count. It is into right field. It's into deep right field. This could be... It is! It is a three-run home run for Charles Johnson. 354 feet over a 353-foot fence, I dare say. And it is now 7-1. And you wonder if the 2003 Marlins have a way back in this one now, it has to be said. Kevin Brown will come up to bat with two out. No one on. And he strikes out, but I'm sure he doesn't care. We'll go and stretch. It is 7-1 to the 97 Marlins. All right, welcome back. It is Kevin Brown continuing to Ivan Rodriguez. He's 0 for 2, and this comeback needs to start very, very soon if it is going to ever come. And Rodriguez forgets to swing. One away, and it'll be Juan and Cancion, whose name I cannot say. He's pinch hitting. How old's he? Because he's... Uh, He's still around, isn't he? No, he can't be. He's 27. 27. Yeah, no, there's no way. And that is uh, another strikeout. So that's uh, two away. And it brings back up Miguel Cabrera. An 0-1 pitch. And Cabrera! That's going to be leaving us. There's Miggy at his best. It is 7-2. With that two run, uh, one run home run. 399 feet. And, uh, well, still a five-run game, but it's nice to see Miggy get one. It is Alex Gonzalez coming in now. He's 0 for 2. It's a 1-0 pitch. And that should do it for that. He grounds it to the shortstop, over to first, and we will go into the eighth. In will be Chad Fox to the mound, Edgar Renteria to the plate. He is 1 for 3. It is a 1-1 pitch. And that is well hit, but center field is there. It's actually not well hit at all. Look how shallow they all are. So that is one away. In comes Craig Council now. A 3-1. And there is a walk. So one out, one on. And Moises Alou to the mound, uh, to the plate even. With, he is over three today. First pitch. And that could be a double play that ends the inning. And we'll go to the bottom of the inning. So... Still a five-run game, and uh, as long as Brown's on the mound, you don't really see a way back for them. It's Jeff Conine. He's uh, one, a 1-2 one pitch, I should say. He's 0 for 1, I believe, and that is going to skip over. More sort of float over, wasn't it, the shortstop for a leadoff single. In now will be Juan Pierre. He's 0 for 3. It's a 1-0 pitch. And Pierre has hit it well, too well, though, because it's a carry to left field. And that is one away. Runner stays at first. Luis Castillo, who is one for three. It's a 1-1 pitch. Castillo, that could be a double play. That sends us to the ninth. Not quite. They only get the man at second. So two out man at first. And it is Derek Lee to the plate. He is one for three. It's a 1-1 pitch. Derek Lee hits it into center field. It is, again, catchable. And we will go to the ninth. The 97 Florida Marlins are 7-2 up. And it is Gary Sheffield to lead off the inning. He is two for three. It's a full count. And Sheffield grounds it to the second baseman. That'll be one away. That will mean coming up to bat now is Bobby Bonilla. It feels like Bobby Bonilla is batting every second inning, isn't he? He draws a walk. So one on, one out. It is Darren Dalton who's one for four. It's a 1-0 pitch. And Dalton to the first baseman. Gets the out at his base. Cannot get the out at second, though it didn't look like. So that is two away. And it's Devon White, who is two for four. A 1-1 one -one pitch. White grounds it to the first baseman. That'll do it for the top of the ninth. The 2003 Florida Marlins need five runs at least in the bottom of the inning. It is Lau to lead them off against Brown. We've only had one complete game so far in this uh bid to find the best team in baseball that was by Hal Newhauser and it was a shutout Ken Brown at least uh it's not going to be a shutout obviously as it's an 0-2 on Rodriguez we could be looking at a second complete game that's his 10th strikeout Brian Banks will pinch hit it's the final out it's another 1-2 pitch is he going to end it in style no he hits him apparently those two don't get on and that'll do <laughs> and that's it 
So he doesn't get a complete game out of it. We still have had just the one. Miguel Cabrera to face Dennis Cook. Miggy, of course, smacked one out of the park last time up. It's an 0-2 pitch this time. Cabrera strikes out, and it is the 1997 Florida Marlins that will move on. So the game for the Braves was an absolute classic last episode. This one, maybe not so much. The uh, yeah, the, the 2003 team never really looked in it, did they, unfortunately, for them. So it is the 97 Marlins that move on to face the rest of baseball there, as we can see. Next up, I believe it is my beloved Mets. So that's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to that one. And uh, hopefully you are too. If you've enjoyed this, thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you next time in New York. Take care.